Okay, what, what I'll do then instead is I'll show you my screen here and then I'll show you how it works. Is that better, Nelly, or can I do that? Can I can I show yep. you my screen? Oh, sure. Uh, sh screen sharing here. Start screen share. This takes 30 to 60 seconds. Hold on, then I'll just find a Word document that I can use. Let me try Your some screen is now being shared. Can you, can you see my screen now? Okay, I'll just stop this. Welcome to Langcore. Yeah, this video just will explain uh, what the... Turn it off. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, there we go. There we go. So, this is uh, this is the toolbar. It's just placed up here, and this is what it looks like. Uh, let's say the students. I haven't prepared this, so so. But if you let's say the students make this mistake here, the boy play ball. Yeah, whatever. Um, and you get this mistake. Then you, if you have to write something, you have to write something about subject and and predicated and things like that. But what, instead what you can do is you can just go to the Concord category uh, and then you say, uh, you say third person singular, remember us? And then you get this automatic, um, get this automatic um, uh, comment uh, that's placed here in, in the text. So it says here, Concord error, remember to add S to your verb when the subject is third person singular, e.g. he knows. Um, and this is what it does all the way through, so you say, she plays X. Oh, well, X And if you want to correct that, then you go to um, you go to the uh, class of words here. You say, well, we've got we've got an adjective that should be an adverb. Uh, there you go. You've used an adjective to describe another word class, um, then a pronoun or a noun. You need an adverb to describe it instead. In most cases, you can change words, word class by adding uh, L, ly to your adjective. So this is the way that it works, and this is you can address syntactic errors, grammatical errors, semantic errors. You can correct anything. If you we've got one over here called uh, analysis, we've got one called language essay, and if you don't like the the uh, the comments, the standard comments, I'll show you. You can actually make this quite personal. So if I, I'm just going to give you an example here. So this is one of the mistakes that my students make all the time. You know this one, which and which. So this one is like the classic error here. So so I've I've come up with a sort of a very personal comment for that. So so when I take this one, then it says here spelling error. Which one of you is a witch? Look it up. Um, so you can actually make it. You can make it quite personal. Um, let's say I don't like this explanation here. What I do is that. I just go to the edit menu. The first time you do it, it takes a second. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then you can change everything. So if you've got, let's say we've got the, the B tense here, or we've got the Concord one here, you can change that one. So if you don't like, if you don't like uh, the example, for instance, you just change it. So you say, well, replace. There you go. So you've changed it. So now it's your comment. You could write anything. Um, also, uh, if so, if let's try to use it again. So, so this one, what's this one, wasn't that? Uh, third person singular, remember S. So you see that it's, it has been changed to he plays. So again, instead of writing all this, then you can actually uh, you can actually um, do it by by using these predefined comments, and you'll find that I'm sure you. I mean, you're all familiar with that. That that your students will most uh, they will most definitely. Uh, uh, Repeat their, their their mistakes over and over again, so you don't have to do that anymore. This is this is what makes it so easy and so fast uh, to correct. And finally, you actually give them because this is um, you give them some elaborate and an elaborate uh, comment here. Because uh, if you before what I would have done for this, I would have said here the boy play ball. I would have written an SP or something like that. Or C for Concord or uh, and and the student they don't know what to do with that. This is what I showed you in the beginning here. So, so remember, this just now you get a good explanation that the student can actually use. You you, you explain why the error is there, and, and you explain what to do with it. Um, so this is where we're talking about the different feedback categories, and you can you can use all the feedback categories categories that you like. Um, and then, the, as I said, there are there's uh, you have access to uh, to various um, to various online uh, resources. So if let's say you don't know the word excellent or whatever, then then you just uh, you just uh, press our dictionary. 
and it sends you directly to 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 a dictionary, an online dictionary, where you can where you can get the definition. And let's say you're afraid that you uh, you think that your student has plagiarized something, then you just highlight the entire sentence and you ask where. And then it it, um, it can show you immediately whether this has been, been copied from the internet somewhere. So it just it just takes this is, this is uh, it just takes all the things that I I was uh, all the things that I was frustrated about, and then it just makes it easy. Uh, it I don't have to waste time. Uh, I don't have to waste my time on something that is um, isn't beneficial for anyone. Um, and, and this is the idea here behind this program. Uh, another thing that I, that I uh, thought was important when, when I designed it was that, that um, it's, it's sometimes it's quite, I mean, it's, you correct a lot of papers and it's difficult to remember, I mean, what was wrong last time he, did, he, he wrote something, and, and then you can actually, you can check that. So, so we've included a stats menu. Um, as I said the first time, it just takes a few seconds. Um, so you can actually see all the errors here, but we used we used four different errors this time, so you see them here. Um, and then you can print this report in your student's document. Um, and uh, if you want to add some exercises this time, it was it was Concord. So we can find we can find Concord here. Go to English at high school. We'll go to uh, SP agreement. And I can add a few exercises. Oh, I put the choice one well, anyway. yeah, And I put the choice again. There you go. There you go. That was one. And I can I can add that in the report. So here you go. And I can save I can save the grades and things like that. I won't do that. You can see that. You can see that in the demo. Um, so here's here's the report uh, that that uh, is printed in the document. So you can see the errors. Uh, and you can get the exercises. So your students can actually go directly to this exercise and and actually work with the the errors that that they are, um, have, that they have copied. But finally, you can also if you if you want to use a different tool file, you can just choose another one or you can make your own. So I'll choose this one with movies. So let's see, this one is with movies. So if I add another comment this time, there should be uh, that's a movie here. Uh, that this deals again with, with the concord category that we're working with now, but it could be anything. Um, so what we do is we take this one, we press control, and then press the link, and then it sends you uh, directly to a, a movie or that that uh, that deals with uh, with. Uh, uh, Hi, uh, my name is Rebecca, and in now. today's there lesson go. we're going to talk. So, about so your students can actually uh, they can see your comments. Some, some very elaborate and, and uh, um, comments that can actually explain something for your students. They can see a movie, they can do exercises, <coughs> um, and, and then they can correct their own things. And this is something that they actually learn um, also also next time when they have to... to uh, they, they learn it and they remember it for, for next time they have to write uh, an, uh, an essay. Uh, let me just go back to the chat room now. So this is this is basically these are the basic functions of, of the problem. But I would strongly recommend you to to have a look at to have a look at the um, at the um, at the demo. It takes about seven minutes and it just explains everything. And <coughs> Spencer is quite good at doing it. So so if you if you do that, that would be great. Um, great. Let's see, I just have to exit this. Um, so this is this is the idea here, and I really hope that you would like to try it out, um, and you don't have to pay anything for that. Um, let me see where we go to the next one because this is what I said. We need you here because uh, this has been thoroughly tested in in, in Denmark. And it's very popular, uh, but we we haven't tried it at Bort yet. So I'm sort of hoping that that teachers worldwide would like to to uh, to try this, um, and and. Um, that would really help us out. So, and and all we'll, we'll ask for is if you could fill out uh, two short questionnaires during during the the year here. So, um, if and then if you um, let me see how I do this. Uh, if you go to to this link here, uh, I'll just take this one, Tom, and then I'll say this one. If you just add slash mooc, this one. 
if you use this link here uh, afterwards uh, when we're done here, then you can actually you can download it for free. Uh, you don't have to worry about prices or anything. Uh, you can use it for one year and then just let me know if you like it, and uh, that would be that would be excellent. Um, as I said, I really hope that you can save a lot of time and. And I hope that your students will, will appreciate uh, the, the, the different kind of... Um, and there is German as well. We have German, uh, we have German in German and we have German in English. And so, so you, you, can, you can use very, uh, various um, uh, profiles. <coughs> then uh, the, the question is who should actually give this feedback? And this is uh, one of you asked me about peer feedback uh, before. And this is, uh, this is why I said, this, um, originally this was a tool that I designed uh, for teachers. Um, and and um, so the idea was that I wanted to save time and I wanted to give them better feedback. But then my students actually, uh, Polish isn't there yet, but, but it's, quite, it's, quite, um, it's quite easy to, um, um, it's, it's quite easy to, to make your own uh, toolbar. It, it, takes, it takes, I mean, if you have to write, I mean, all you, basically all you have to do is you have to sit down and then figure out what kinds of mistakes do, do uh, your students uh, often make and then, uh, and then write them down. Because you only have to do it once and you have them forever. Um, if you, um, um, we are sort of trying to find someone to do it in Polish, so if you're interested, then let me know. Um, another thing here is, as I said, my teach, my students they actually ask me why why can't we do this ourselves? And this is so this is the peer feedback that we that we did here was actually based on my students' uh, wishes here, and, and we did that. So what I did was I divided the students into groups, and then I let them construct their own toolbar, um, which was actually quite interesting and and really really good. This is these are actually the students. This is. These are some of my my students here, and they I think they got the Concord category actually. Uh, now that we we talk so much about Concord, um, and they really liked it. Um, so here's an example on, uh, that shows you how you can do it. Uh, first of all, you assign a category uh, to to each group, uh, and then the groups they have to consult their grammar books and all all sort of online resources and things like that. They have to uh, write down their own comments based on <coughs> on the research that they're doing, and they have to they have to find movies and exercises that they can include in their in their uh, toolbar. Then they have to present their categories and comments in class. So they have to have, they actually have to give a presentation. Um, then they have to share their categories and construct sort of the combined toolbar, if you will. Um, then this is the first part of the job. When, when that's done, the groups they have to write papers, or so they can do it individually. Then they, when they when they've done that, you swap the papers, and then you make sure that another group uh, marks uh, the other group's papers, so to speak. Um, and then uh, the groups get their papers back, um, and you can actually uh, uh, they have to rewrite their own papers based on the other group's comments. Um, and then they have to explain to each other why they've chosen the comment that they've chosen. Um, and and uh, this is something that, well, it takes some time, definitely, but, but uh, I mean, uh, the amount of, of uh, how, should I, how should I put this in a good way? I mean, the outcome is amazing. It's really, really amazing. <coughs> um, so this is... This is uh, this is really um, this is something that I can highly recommend. Uh, it takes time, as I said, but the, they benefit from it to to a degree that I've never seen before. And I've been teaching for like twelve years now, and I've never seen anything like it. And the best thing was that they actually um, they actually think it's funny. Um, so, <laughs> so so normally when I when I teach grammar, I haven't been able to sort of arouse their interest in a way. And uh, all of a sudden, when when uh, uh, when they do it uh, on their own, uh, then then uh, you'll see that that they actually they become quite passionate about it. They they want to write some good comments, some really elaborate comments that that they can uh, that they can use that they can be proud of because they know that the other students the other students are going to uh, are going to read them and and uh, and then you can actually as a teacher next time you have to. To correct it, you can use your 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 uh, students' uh, toolbar. So that's 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 pretty. Uh, I think that's pretty cool actually. <laughs> so so I'm going to do that again uh, definitely. Um, and I, 
I can highly recommend that. Um, finally, just a few references. Uh, I mean, all, all of the things that I've said, I mean, it's, just, it's not just something that, 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 that we say. Uh, this is based on on, uh, on for our research. I mean, we we're using scholars such as John Hattie and uh, uh, Dister and Rinega and Shoot and and so right by you can see you can see them here and you can you can uh, there are there are uh, several more that we are interested in uh, Day for instance. But you can uh, if you want uh, and, and a, a longer list than this, then just just write to me, then I'll send you some good references uh, for for giving feedback. Um, then uh, well now it's it's time for uh, it's time for uh, uh, for questions I, I'm sorry I couldn't see all your comments there because I'm as I said this is the first time that I'm that I'm on on, on MOOC uh, online so uh, thank you uh, thanks Tom um, uh, if you have any questions just just feel free to to ask me about about anything here um, thank you thank you so much Andres I want to I want to tell uh, everyone here that I felt blessed. I don't know, Andres, I never told you this. But I felt blessed when I uh, encountered uh, your program, uh, the Core Lang, because I think that, first of all, it's amazing. And I'm, uh, I'm so uh, pleased to, to know, Andres, that you are a teacher, an EFL teacher, an English language teacher, whose English is amazing, you know, first of all, I have never heard a single mistake in your spoken English, and, and your written English is just as perfect. I mean, the fact that a teacher would try to find a solution, because, you know, most of the solutions that we have online these days are from tech people, and tech people are not teachers. And when I have to work with tech people, I need to convince them that what they're doing is wrong from the perspective of instruction and learning. And we've got a person here who has developed something as a teacher to make his life easy. And that's exactly what technology is supposed to do. It's supposed to um, help teachers and learners and not, you know, uh, work from the technology point of view. So I think this is absolutely perfect. The fact that um, we can help improve the program is super uh, because um, it is possible for teachers to get together and make this happen. So Andreas, I'd like to thank you. There were some questions here um, from the participants. If you want to look at the questions, one way of doing it, Andreas, is to pop out the, uh, the chat there's an arrow there, you can pop it out into the center of the screen, and then you uh, are in a better position, okay. you can make it larger, and you're in a better, yeah. Okay. Can you, yeah. Can can you, you do it, uh, Nelly? Yeah? Can you, can you do it for me? I did that, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> can you see it? Um, I can see you doing something, yeah. Because <laughs> you can do it on an individual basis, if you go to the chat and simply uh, pop it out. If there's an arrow, just pop it out, yeah, yeah. and and then you can oh, make it large. You can just kind of uh, stretch it oh. in every way. Some of the, there was a question here by Stella. Thing. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I think it's bit, it's bigger now at least. Uh, I'll see if I can. Well, I yeah, I can make it a little bit bigger here. Yeah, you I can make it as large as your screen because sure, I could also, yeah. nobody will see what you're doing. It's it's only on your screen. So okay, don't feel, I can, I can see so it. feel comfortable. By the way, everyone can I, do it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not naked or anything. <laughs> there you go. It's that big. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw a few questions. Um, and Eva, uh, Pablo, I, I think that's a mistake. Is that a mistake in our program or is it just, is it just me? that Have I written Eva or what? Well, anyway. Okay, let's see. Um, Nelly, can you keep track of the questions or...? Sure, I'll, I'll be here. There's one question here. Can you use the toolbar for, from Tom, can you uh, use the toolbar for adapting another language? Yeah, yeah, anything. This is just, I mean, this is just, the toolbar is just a framework, uh, basically. You can, uh, you, can, uh, you can also, if you want, it doesn't necessarily have to be languages. If you want to, I mean, if, you, if you're a history teacher, and, and you correct uh, papers in that subject. You could you could uh, you could uh, create a toolbar that that uh, that addresses the questions 
uh, that that is uh, that that are necessary to to focus on in history. So you can do it for any any uh, any language or subject that you want to address, as long as long as the things can be uh, can be handed in uh, by using Microsoft Word. Uh, then, then uh, language corrector will work. Okay, there's another question. Does it support cyclic? I have uh, to, to tell what you the truth. As, as you said, as you said before, I'm 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 a teacher, so yeah. so you would I, you would have to ask my tech guys about that. Um, it works with the last uh, two or three. I think it's the last three versions of of Microsoft Word. The most recent. Uh, I think the three most recent versions of Microsoft Word. Your, your voice seems to be going backwards. Can you speak up? I'll just yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I'm talking about about the, the versions uh, where where you can make it work. Or the word, the Microsoft Word versions. And I, as I said, I think it's the the, the most recent, the, the three most recent versions of, of Word. I think it works with. And again, with Chinese, uh, if if Microsoft Word supports uh, Chinese then we support Chinese as well because we are basically just an add-on for uh, for uh, for Microsoft Word this is what we do we just we're just taking the functionality of Microsoft Word and then we're sort of making it better so to speak more accessible uh, Spanish is there uh, Nelly uh, Chinese is not um, but but you I mean if you see a language that that isn't there that you would like to be there then uh, give us a call or send us an email. Then, then we'll we'll talk about it. Um, well, there were some other questions as well. Uh, something about whether it worked with MOOC. Is that correct? So, have I lost you here, or can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I'm just trying to find questions here. Estella asked a question. I can't seem to find it. So Stella, can you uh, answer your question again? Ah, oh, there's a question about Moodle. Yes, we talked about, I talked about this with Andreas, uh, about Moodle, uh, integrating it into a Moodle activity. Uh, yeah, yes. the, I mean, the idea here is, I mean, as I said, as, uh, as I said before, is that if you, I mean, if, if Word can do it, we can do it. So that, because, as I said, this is, this is, uh, language corrector, corrector is, is basically, it becomes a part of Microsoft Word. It's just an add-on for work. So the minute that the minute that uh, that you uh, if 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 the program that you want to to use to integrate this, if that works with Microsoft Word, then it will work with with the language corrector as well. And by the way, the editor on Moodle does support uh, Word documents, so you can actually just paste it. Um, yeah, yeah. That's all you need to do in the editor. And you don't need, uh, the, your students don't need the program, um, because this is what they, what they get back from you is just a Word document. So you can actually save it and upload it, not just paste it, but you can also yeah. upload it into an assignment on Moodle. Exactly. So, so you could, if you can, if you can upload a Word, a Word document, then you can get the comments, because the comments that, that language corrector gives to, uh, to the students is just a part of the Word document. Also, and that goes for, for the stats report as well, and the, the exercises and the movies, the links for, for movies, that, that, that's the same thing. <coughs> and there's a question about this, um, I can't see it, there's something uh, yeah, the teacher has a toolbar, but I mean, if you if you want the, some of your students to have it, if if you want your students to make their own toolbar, then the the the, the, the students will will need to download the program as well. So if you want to use the peer the peer feedback idea, then then they need the program. Thanks, Melissa. Whether your colleagues can use it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, what about peer editing? There's a question there by uh, Teresa. 
Yeah, that, then they need access. So what I would do here is, uh, I would just, uh, if you want to try this with your with, with a class, then we have this two two months for free version that they can download. So they'll have access to it for, for, for two months. That should be plenty to to uh, to go through a um, a session uh, where you do some various grammatical tasks and, and assign various categories to 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 classes. So you can do that definitely. Um, well, uh, the thing is that iPad isn't ready for Microsoft Word yet. Um, the minute that 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 it is ready, then we'll we'll do it. I think Microsoft is working on an uh, on a version that can work with iPads uh, and iPhones as well. Um, but but uh, great, Anna, it sounds great. Just and let us let us know if you have any questions. But I definitely, I I think that. Uh, that it won't be long before uh, it will work uh, on iPad. But at the moment, the technical, um, the technical side is not ready for it. You can use it on Mac. That's true. Uh, that's true, really. That so it works on Mac. In Mac, it's a little bit different because it's a separate, it's a separate program. Uh, at the moment, uh, well, it depends. I mean, what other countries are using it? Well, um, at the moment, Denmark is sort of the main. Uh, uh, sort of country at the moment because this is where it started. I mean, this is brand new. I mean, this is this program has only been. Uh, I mean, actually, to, to tell you the truth, it's only been on the market for uh, for a few months actually. Um, so it's brand new. So it's a new thing. But uh, we are setting up agreements with uh, with um, a publisher in Holland, and uh, we are setting up agreements with uh, teach, uh, teachers and. Sales representatives, various in various um, in various countries, for instance, England and Austria, and uh, well, so we we are we actually just we've just read Argentina actually, so that's it's quite funny. Um, so so uh, and I got a question here from Melissa Silva. Will it be available for college to adopt? Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is just. Um, you can just change the, the, the comments, so if you think that the level uh, level that the comments are on at the moment isn't high enough, then you can just change that. Uh, we, had, we do have classes that do uh, that. Yeah, well, that's, that's the thing, I mean, we, it costs uh, a lot of money to develop this, to tell you the truth, so, so, uh, so we can't sort of... The idea behind the two, of course, the idea behind the two months for free is that that, that people will eventually try to to buy. It. Um, that's the idea. Have a great day, Jarek. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you want your entire uh, entire college to to purchase it, then we'll just we'll find a good deal for you. But it, uh, it's quite an expensive for individual teachers, as I understand it. Is that correct? Um, no, it's not. It's not that. It's not expensive. It is. It is I think. What much is it? I can't remember. Cecilia is, is part of uh, Lake She's been answering some some questions here. Uh, let me just. I can't, I'm just trying to remember. That's just, oh, that's, that's embarrassing, isn't it? I should. I should know what what um, products. No, I'm talking about sorry, uh, Andreas. I'm talking about the individual, not the um, not the institution. Yeah, and an individual can buy it if they want to. This, I'll just find the price for you. Do you want? I can find it in the US dollars here. Uh, one second, I'll find it for you. Uh, shop. If you go to the shop, uh, then I think it's. I think it was ninety nine dollars, wasn't it? Or I, I remember a nine somewhere. There. That's what. Ninety-nine. That's for one year. Yeah. So ninety-nine dollars yeah. is for one year, and you can get it for three years for one ninety-nine. Oh. Yeah. That's. I remember the ninety-nine. So it's it's yeah. ninety-nine dollars for a year. For one year. Right. right. There you go. And what is the one ninety-nine? That's for three years. Oh, that's for three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember the two numbers. Okay, for three years. Okay. I think that's really reasonable. Yeah, well, as, as I said, I mean, if if you uh, if you can save more than eleven, twelve, thirteen days a year, then then I suppose that, that it's not that much. But I think you also have an affiliate program, which is really um, 
encouraging for teachers who bring, like a friend brings a friend kind of thing.